Okay, so this is an SCMI industrial shaper. It's, it's an Italian machine, kind of a meat and potatoes shaper. Doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it is rugged. Uh, has a three quarter spindle. This is an inch and a quarter spindle that I have set up here. I have made it so that it goes forward and in reverse. Uh, works perfectly. And um, two speeds, uh, seven and 10,000. And uh, it is a three phase machine, so uh, what I'm going to do is turn on my phase converter and then I'll turn it on for you. Uh, changing this is very simple. There's a pin down here, goes in a hole down here, and then you put, I use a little monkey wrench, not a so little monkey wrench, because uh, I don't use this very often and I can just use it as a, as a dedicated, dedicated, um, wrench for the shaper. And that's that's simple. Alright, I'm just going to take all these spacers off. This is a drawer joint cutter. And now then we'll turn on the phase converter and I'll show you how it works. We have the phase converter on over there and I've set up a dial indicator uh, on that shaft so that you can see there's no uh, I haven't had a wreck with this. The shaft does not have any run out. So I'm going to start it up now. I only ever run it at 7,000 RPM, but here we go. Switch is back here. And if you look over here, there's a slight bit of movement on there that's, you know, within tolerance, I'd say. So that's it, and uh, we'll shut that off. And you can watch. I'll turn it once it's stopped, and uh, you can just see exactly how much run out there is. But that's important with a shaper, especially when you're swinging a large cutter, which this one will do. So it's within uh, two to three thousandths there. Uh, that's about the thickness of a hair. And that's it. The feeder, by the way, which is on here, I may or may not sell that with the shaper. It just depends on uh, what I can get done with another one that I purchased that's broken.